Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. I'm Deb and you are here in my sewing nook today. I know this is supposed to be for hashtag Friday Sews and it's Saturday again, but that's the way my life goes anymore. A day late, a dollar short, well not really, but anyway a day late, yes. First of all, before I go any further, I would like to thank Jen at Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this collaboration for joining the whole world together in a sewing room you know it's been a lot of fun i've participated in this collaboration for well okay i'll say roughly a year not really sewing for a year though because i've only been doing this for maybe seven eight months something like that i've been watching yeah, <laughs> I've been watching for a while before I decided to take the plunge and join in. And I'm glad I did because I have met some of the most wonderful people and chatted with a lot of wonderful people here and learned a lot. Thank you very much. But Jen, I understand, is celebrating her 13th anniversary on YouTube. What an achievement. That's wonderful. Keep up the good work for sure. Okay? and congratulations. Now, what have I been doing this week? I've been doing a lot in my sewing room, but I don't have a lot to show for it, and I really don't. Um, yes, I straightened up my room. Yes, I need to straighten it up again. <laughs> That's the way that goes. But first of all, I did start working on the, what would you call it, the shawl vest that I was making using this lacy cranberry colored material. I love this material. I love the color of it. To me it's very festive and I'm, I'm hoping to find just the right pattern to use it. And I think I would be using it as a, a shawl of some sort. But the pattern that I had, I think I might be tweaking that a bit. It didn't work out. I'm glad I did try to work it out on some an old flannel sheet that I bought at Goodwill and not on this cranberry material, first of all, because I did not like the way it turned out on the mock-up. So I'll either be tweaking the pattern or just trying to find something else to use that cranberry material for. That was not the right one. Not the way it is, anyway. So, what else did I do? I was gonna do the skirt that Quilters Anonymous put out, and just a plain, simple skirt with an elastic waistband but the more I thought about that, the more I thought, you know what, I don't even wear a skirt. No, I wear dresses. A skirt and a top just kind of cuts me in half and makes me look shorter and stubbier than I really am. So I decided to hold off on the skirt. Instead, I went searching my patterns again. And what I found are two that I'm going to choose from. Depending on... i got to get this one. I keep this one in a zippered bag. It's an older pattern. I have not made either of these, <laughs> but yeah, this one in the bag I would cut apart with the idea that I might make it. This is, they're both McCall's. This is McCall M4350, just a plain, simple, it could be a shorts or a, um, what do you call those, capris outfit and top, okay? So it's either that or this one which is McCall's 4097 and the same thing shorts capris and a top of some sort I'm going to be really looking at both of these and deciding which one I want to make this is the kind of outfit that I wear around the house out and around to go grocery shopping or whatever you know so I would be really comfortable in either one of these I'll be deciding on that and oh also my nightgown back here I did finish hemming that. I took about 10 inches off the length of it. So that's all ready to be worn. Let me angle the camera up here and you can see it hanging on the door there. It is finished. So, so that's one other thing that I worked on this week. And then I started working on another project. I actually started it on Thursday and I'm still finishing it up, of course. But remember these placemats I made in this, what, late spring, early summer? I made four of these. And there's the back. 
and on the kitchen nook table I have I believe it's a, a really light beige lacy tablecloth and then I put these down on the tablecloth and they really help to brighten up the the kitchen nook area the placemats along with I just have a small floral display so I thought I liked those placemats and the effect in the kitchen nook so I decided to make some for fall and I went with this color match dark but I figured you know what fall this this would be perfect this is the back William of course asked me well why did I go with such drab colors you know why didn't I brighten it up with greens or more gold and that well I just didn't but you know what I can always make another set of placemats and use those again at another time but for this fall it's gonna be this so and yes you're supposed to have um, light, medium, and dark, and mine is more like medium, I mean, mine's more like, well, yeah, medium and dark. <laughs> so, but that's what I chose. This is what it's going to be, and this yellow, actually it's gold, green, rusty colored, a little bit of white in there, that's going to be the border all the way around. Now, today, my, um, I have this all sandwiched in. You quilt this. You know, you, you put it together just like a quilt. You have your front, you have your batting in between, and you have your backing. I've got it all pinned together. I'm going to do just real minor basic quilting to put these together. And I think I'm just going to sew along, like sew in the ditch along the blocks that I use to put together to form the placemat. So I'm going to do that today and then cut the binding out and get that sewn on and I will be machine stitching the binding on. I, when I did quilting before I used to always do my bindings by hand but you know what this for these I'm just gonna do it on the machine real quick. So I may be finished with these tonight. I may not finish them till tomorrow. We'll see. You will see. If they're done tonight I'll put a complete picture. But that's what I've got going on back here in my sewing room. Yep and just enough to keep me busy. I like working on little projects like these placemats. They, they're very useful and they really do um, add a lot of color to the kitchen nook. So these worked out very well and I think the ones for fall will as well. And I intend to make a set of these for Christmas also and maybe for spring, we'll see. <laughs> I'm on a roll, I guess. In the meantime, that's it for today. Just a very short hashtag Friday sews on Saturday. But I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be talking to you again next week. But for right now, it's going to be bye, and I'm, i got to get busy on these. Yeah.